hey guys it's your girl afm stories and you're welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about how to find student accommodation so this is actually one of the most requested videos people have been asking okay yeah you say mm, we can use accommodation these are the things we need to do and all of that but how do we find this accommodation you know so if you're someone that is wondering how you can find accommodation some pointers or some guides or you've never started looking for it but you're just like okay let me just go and find out how to find it then this video is for you before i continue this video please hit the like button please subscribe to my channel please drop a comment as this video progresses it helps me to grow i am afm stories and i create content on scholarships student lifestyle and opportunities that are valuable for you so let's get right into the video how can you find students accommodation the first place i would recommend that you find accommodation advice is your university website yeah i said that so there are many options on the official university website they're going to give you tips on your university accommodation and then also external accommodations that they have approved so externally for postgraduate students or um non-first year students that they cannot cater to they will give you alternatives that you can check so they always have a very um, reliable list of accommodations that are useful for you also the student union website as well also has guides for accommodation that's also something you should totally consider they have a more rounded idea a more rounded view and so they're also going to have a wider variety of options that they're going to give you in the student union website so also check that out as well if you're an international student the international um student office of your university is also another great place to find out about accommodation all you have to do is shoot them an email and say okay i've got an admission to this school i intend to come in september or january but i don't have any idea on the accommodation options so i've set the university accommodations but maybe i don't want those ones so do you have any advice on external accommodation any links or guides for great accommodation that i can actually check out so that's also another place for you to check another way to find student accommodation is by speaking to current students so you can reach out to current students on social media or um student facebook groups um student ambassadors yes student ambassadors are actually very useful as well in finding accommodation unibody uni conversations you know so look for current students try to find someone that is in the school because they also give you a well-rounded view on okay which one is better which one is more convenient which one did they use which one did their friends use it would help you to be able to get thorough reviews of this accommodation so yes yeah, speaking to current students is also a good place to find accommodation i've had a lot of people reach out to me about accommodation in leicester and i've been able to you know Give them some guide as well so obviously another thing i'll say is students um accommodation websites the accommodation websites like uni lodgers uni homes and i'm sure there are many others so for me i use uni lodgers and this is not even a sponsored video at all but it was very useful for me to find accommodation in leicester that's actually how i found this accommodation i'm in so i went on their website and i typed you know university accommodation in leicester and they had a lot of options though i was coming here in january so my options were limited because most of the accommodations were already taken mind you these websites don't always put private accommodation so in terms of flats and shared housing so they mostly put university halls and private halls but they give you a wide variety of even accommodations that you might not even be aware of and they don't even charge you money so uni lodgers doesn't charge me any money for agency fee or anything i guess they are um the their benefit is mostly with the accommodation provider and not necessarily with the students so they didn't charge me any money but they were very useful like in finding the accommodation in speaking to the accommodation providers they even got my number they were calling me helping me to dialogue helping me to read the contracts back and forth it was a freaking free service for me obviously i'm sure they got money from the accommodation but it was useful to me as the applicant you know and for me that was just amazing 
um, I told them I told them about my preference. I wanted to move in immediately. They were able to get me somewhere that I could move in immediately. I told them that I wanted an all girls accommodation. I even got a good deal because this accommodation that I was even in wasn't advertised on the official website, you know, but because I said I wanted an all girls room, because I okay, so I almost went for a shared apartment. So I was gonna sh I, I mean a shared apartment but i almost went for a non ensuite room so i was planning to compromise on sharing bathrooms because i was trying to save costs and everything and the standard suit rooms that they advertised were out of my budget so i was like i want an all girls room but they didn't find an all girls room that was shared bathrooms and so they were like okay you know what we've been able to negotiate with the accommodation providers there's an ensuite room five people it's not as cheap as the one you wanted but it's not as expensive as the ones you're running away from it was in a sweet spot and so yeah that's how i got this accommodation and even my friend my friend was the one that told me about this accommodation because she's staying in another room three bedrooms but she's paying way more than i'm paying but our rooms are literally the same size same bathroom in the room the only difference is that she's staying somewhere with less people i'm staying somewhere with more people and i wouldn't have gotten that good great deal if not for them so yeah i think i really recommend them really so people sites like uni lodgers uni homes they were really useful for me and i feel like they'll be very useful for you as well especially for international students that have no clue or first year students it just really saves you the stress because they'll ask you what you're looking for what your budget is what your mind is you know all those kind of things it just saves you stress um yes and then obviously another option is using actual agents so obviously you can actually find actual agents from current students that have used them and have said great things about them but mind you agents are very desperate not all agents but a lot of agents are very desperate and sometimes they might make you compromise or make you choose things that maybe might not be the best for you you know so you need to be very careful with agents some agents are very good as long as you, you can say that they are well recommended they come recommended yeah maybe you could do that another option i'll say is websites like right room right move so there are many websites like right move you can even google alternatives to right move but i know right move so on that website obviously you see um yeah so these are non-university halls but you see like rooms that students want you see flats you see shared housing so that's also another site for you to find rooms as well that are very useful for in your search so but mind you please read everything on the website because i have friends that will just see oh the name of the room and they don't check like new housemates preferences hold housemate preferences there are many things on that website that you need to check in terms of facilities bills preferences and all of that don't just say oh okay this is the accommodation this is the bills and that's that i have a video on what you should consider um i think i have <laughs> i think i have linked it in the comments below so you should definitely check that out the things you should consider before booking an accommodation but anyways um yeah so right room right move is also a very good place for you to find accommodation um also another place for you to find accommodation i'll say social media so for the fact that you're watching this on youtube youtube is also a good place for you to find accommodation so search for students accommodation in your city to find accommodation so if, maybe if you're in leicester like i am leicester students accommodation youtube search that on youtube search that on twitter search that on instagram to see what people have written about accommodations in those cities it's also a very great place to find accommodations but also with great reviews you know to give you guidance and then another beautiful thing about finding it on social media is you can actually contact the, pe the people that posted about it maybe through comments or dms to find out more about those accommodations so social media is also a very good place to find accommodation and then finally i'll say google search literally like just type in google <laughs> student accommodation in wherever it is that you're looking for and you will see a lot of options and opportunities for you to find them I hope this video was very useful for you it's a quick video you know to just give you tips on how to find accommodation i wish you the very best please watch my other videos my other videos on accommodation because they're really going to help you so that you don't make a mistake you don't go to the wrong hands you don't get scammed you don't um pay more when you could have gotten a better deal for less and all of that anyways i hope this video was useful if you have any video requests please let me know and drop it in the comment section below and i will be answering them if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel this is a good time to subscribe all right thank you for watching this video and bye